Hi and welcome to this video explaining the operation of the Hopcroft CARP algorithm. The Hopcroft CARP algorithm takes a parted graph as input to produce as output a maximum cardinality matching. This is a biparted graph even though it doesn't seem like one. Biparted graph means that the vertices can be divided into two sets and all edges connect vertices from one set to the other. The edges and vertices colored in red are matched. That means that some of the vertices from the set on the left have been connected to the set to the right. As you can see, a vertex cannot be matched to more than one vertex. An augmenting path is a path that starts and ends at the free vertex and follows an alternating pattern switching between unmatched and matched edges. A maximum matching is when the largest possible number of vertices have been matched. A perfect matching is when all of the vertices have been matched and therefore is a maximum match. Bear's dilemma is the basis of the algorithm we are covering today. Basically what it says is that when an augmenting path is available, there exists a better solution than the current one. The symmetric difference is like the XOR operation of sets. Only edges that are included in one of the sets will be in the resulting set. Of course, the graph here is to demonstrate this operation does not comprise a valid matching because there are more than one edges connected to a single vertex. As long as there exists an augmenting path P, a better solution M', prime, which is the symmetric difference between the previous solution and the set of the augmenting paths, exists. If we can find a set of K vertex disjoint shortest length paths, then the symmetric difference would give us a solution with k more edges than before, since one more edge will be included in the solution for each path in the set. The process of finding all the vertex disjoint shortest length paths can be implemented using breadth first search. The algorithm starts traversing the graph from unmatched vertices from the left set. Since this is the first iteration, all of the vertices are matched. Let's start with the tree for A. A has three edges leading to 1, 2 and 3, B is only connected to 1, C is connected to 2 and 4 and so on and so forth. Once we've reached an unmatched vertex in the right hand side set, we can stop our breadth first search at this level. Next we choose a path from the tree that leads to an unmatched vertex and erase the visited vertices and all of its connections. Here 4 has been left orphan since its parent vertex has been erased. To complete the first iteration we must calculate the symmetric difference between our maximal set of shortest augmenting paths and our solution set which is currently empty. An edge that is colored green indicates that it is currently in the solution set. Because our solution set is empty, all of the edges in the maximal set can be included in our solution set. With the end of the first iteration of the algorithm, we can observe that in this case, only B and 4 are left unmatched. For the second iteration of the algorithm, we begin by selecting the only unmatched vertex in the left set, B, and create a tree by going from the left set to the right using only unmarched edges and from right to left using only marched edges until we reach to a level that contains a free vertex. In this case, there are two paths to follow. Both end at the viable maximum solution, which differ. We pick a path and create our new maximal set. For this iteration, the edge B1, A2 and C4 were not included in our previous solution set, and therefore the symmetric difference will add them to the set. However, 1A and 2C are in both the maximal and solution sets and therefore are removed from our resulting set. In this example, the algorithm needed two iterations to finish and it resulted in a perfect matching. 
all vertices from the first set are connected to all the vertices in the second set. As for the time complexity of this algorithm, the following lemmas have to be considered. With m star being the maximum match and m any possible match in a bipartite graph, lemma 1 states that the difference in cardinality of m star and m is always less than or equal to the number of vertices divided by the length of the shortest augmenting path. This inequality basically describes the number of augmenting paths left. Lemma 2 states that after k iterations, the length of the shortest path is guaranteed to be at least k because we increase the length of the path by at least 1 at each iteration. After square root of v iterations, there are at most v over square root of v augmenting paths left. This sums up to at most 2 times square root of v iterations. The operation of finding the maximal set of vertex disjoint shortest augmenting paths can be implemented using breadth first search which takes big O v time. Therefore, with each iteration taking big O v time and the maximum of big O square root of v iterations, we end up with a total time complexity of big O v times square root of v. Thanks for watching guys, and we hope this helped. Thank you!